A Tale of Weatherization. This is the story of Grandma's House. Grandma's house works. It isn't a fancy house, and it may not be a comfortable house for Grandma. But as far as building science goes, it works. At Grandma's house, the dry outside air is constantly moving through it, keeping moisture and odors from building up inside. And Grandma keeps a pot of water on the stove just to keep the humidity level up. And Grandma lives many years content in her little house without any problems. But Grandma is getting older, and she is getting tired of hauling all that wood. And right as she is thinking about how a change may be needed, Red comes to visit her Grandma. And as all youngins do, she knows exactly what Grandma needs. Grandma needs insulation. Red makes her case, shows her the brochure, and Grandma calls Big Mike. Big Mike does exactly as he is asked and insulates the attic so Grandma can save money and use less wood. And Grandma is very happy until Grandma notices a water stain on the ceiling. Oh dear! Oh dear! Grandma can't catch a break now. The roof's leaking, so Grandma calls Big Mike. And Big Mike sees the problem right away. When he added the insulation, now the roof is cooler because the heat is staying in the house. But the bad news is, the moisture from inside the house now condenses and freezes on the underside of the roof when it didn't used to. But no worries, Big Mike knows exactly what to do. This house just needs to be air sealed to stop the house moisture from getting up to the attic. Then all Grandma's problems will be solved. If only he'd thought of that earlier. Now he has to remove all that insulation he just put in, air seal the attic, and replace the insulation. But Grandma's problems aren't solved. One day, Grandma notices something strange. Grandma couldn't see when Red was coming to visit anymore. Her windows had too much condensation, and now the grandma's house is so humid there are little spots on her wall. At first, she didn't notice, but before long, those little spots have turned into big spots all over her walls. And by now, she is calling Big Mike, demanding, "What have you done?" Well. Big Mike realizes the mold is growing because the walls are wet from condensation. No problem. We'll warm up the walls by putting in some insulation. And the excess moisture? Now that Grandma's house has been air sealed and insulated, she doesn't need that pot. But to be extra safe, Big Mike has one more idea for Grandma. We'll add some ventilation to Grandma's house, and Grandma, just to be safe, runs that fan a lot. But poor Grandma, she notices when she runs the fan something is wrong with her stove, and Grandma learns very quickly the big fan always wins. So once again, Grandma calls Big Mike, and once again, Big Mike came back. Big Mike realized the error of his ways. With all the insulating and air sealing, we were saving Grandma a lot on her energy costs. But in addition to the condensation and mold, now her stove is back drafting. With that big fan running, the stove doesn't draft properly. There's just not enough air. So Big Mike installs an outside air feed directly to the stove, and installs makeup air for the exhaust fan. Grandma and Red lived happily ever after, and Big Mike, he realized the house has to work as a system, got the necessary training, and repainted the van. The end.